Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to another episode of Stellaris. When we last left off, we were continuing our grand and glorious adventures as the Sullivan Stellar Parliament. We are investigating the mysterious mystery of our origins, which, you know, it's going places. I like it. And beyond that, research concluded. Going quite nicely for us, honestly. Off-world trading companies, some tile blockers, research some concluded. clinics. Hmm. That does make people grow faster. I don't know. I, I I've never really System taken advantage concluded. of these. But you know what? Let's go with it. Why not? And for you, let's grab some some physics research. Anyway, scans of Karasta Free uncovered an artificial chamber deep beneath the surface. Its purpose and origin unknown. Magnification revealed an excavated shaft leading from the surface to the subterranean vault. Further analysis will require sending an expedition team down to the surface. Exciting times. Let's Anomalous see what we got. Registered. Our archaeological team have started their work down on Kuman Mog. Seismographic readings quickly isolated a hollow area underground on the rough location indicated completed. by the alien indicators previously discovered. The underground expanse is vast, and despite its mysterious nature, one thing is beyond doubt amongst the experts. It's not natural. Someone built it with a specific purpose in mind. Well, let's keep on digging and see what's down there. Challenging and routine. Where is this? Also, I see there's an archaeological site we can go explore. Oh, and the Kofifi sim system. Hey, I know that reference. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and get that research going. You know, if I had actually explored this system, we could have just cut straight to that. Hmm. Oh well. We oh no, no, no. Research anomaly. Survey system. Go back and survey this system, and then keep going this way. I think I want to try to at least get to here before we run into anyone. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't run into anyone yet. Well, maybe not super- ooh, 21 size. You know what? We do actually want to keep expanding in this direction. Definitely need more influence, though. But, you know, time will tell on that front. Alright, everything is nicely built here. Yeah, I do have the... I don't need to really, uh... Find this stuff out yet. Ah, the mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found drifting in high orbit over Kofifi 3A. The being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit, complete a helmet, and maybe a fighter pilot that ejected in some ancient battle only to be forgotten and left behind. Our study of the corpse has provided some interesting data. Oh, it's campaigning time. Let's see who's going to win. All right, so our... Who is, who is our current leader? Okay, so you're our current leader. We've got uh, a scientist who's busy studying. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't... Don't elect someone who's not... I, I can't afford to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. The per... The underdog won! Well, what do you know? Well, at least the other guy was, uh... Also a scientist. We have, like, just nothing but scientists here. I can dig it. Though it does occur to me, if I run out of influence before I can really nab all these choke points that I want to grab, maybe I'll just go back here and build some stations. You know, save ourselves some time. Construction completed. Though I figure I will at least make sure we grab this. Actually, wait, what am I worried about? Got 134. 
Ah, you know what, I guess, I guess we are kind of, uh, expanding fast enough. Wow. I feel like we're really chugging out the unity here. Alright. Hmm. I do think I might go for Discovery next, but on the other hand, Diplomacy so that we can start forming federations does sound kind of cool. Oh, yeah, and we've got an Ascension perk. Alright, what do we want? Let's see. Lower the influence... Okay. I mean, that's good if we want to make claims and also capture stuff. Mastery of nature. One vision. Technological ascendancy. I mean, I generally like stuff that gives us... new, uh, new things, you know? Let's see. Like this stuff. Though, <laughs> at the same time, there is a part of me that hates that there's like 10,000 different, uh, well, not really 10,000, but, you know, like the Colossus Project, and then we've got to also have Mega Engineering, and then something else. There's only so... <laughs> there's only so many slots. Which, you know, it does make sense. Uh, I think I'll start with Interstellar Dominion. <laughs> The 10% faster research speed might have been better for, like, where we're going with things, but I like, I like to spend less money. Anyway. I guess what I was saying back there with the Ascension perks is the one thing I don't like is that I can then get permanently locked out of being able to play with certain features. But then again, I guess, you know, the game does eventually end at some point, so you end up in a situation where you you don't need to have every game be able to access every single feature. But there is a certain there is a certain min maxy part of me that's like, ah, I'd like to is it really min maxing? I don't know. Where it's like, ah, you know, there's a locked door that I can't go through. I want to go through it. But then again, I guess if I really feel that way, I think there's mods that add more ascension slots, so, you know, someday if I want to play such a game, I can always do so. That's the beauty of modding. Anyway, the excavation crew has finally reached the underground structure. Vast angular halls and tunnels were explored. A complete lack of adornment made it difficult to establish the purpose of the structure. When Fontaris entered the main chamber, a deep sound suddenly rever reverberated. Initially just thundering noise, the sound slowly contorted into an incorporeal voice. Why am I having such a hard time reading this? The slat The sound slowly contorted into an incorpor in incorporeal. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with that word. The voice spoke a single sentence in our language. Are you ready? The booming voice was followed by a deep rumble as one of the giant walls slowly slid away to reveal a dark corridor. Our archaeologist eagerly went inside. You know what? It also occurs to me. If I could have a career just writing stories like this... Actually, you know what? I should use this, maybe. Uh, no, no, you know, I've got so many side projects and things that I do in my spare time. Modding still are to add more stories like this would probably be a terrible, terrible idea. The point I'm getting at, though, is... This seems like something that would be immensely satisfying to do as, uh, as a project. It's just writing stories for something like this. You know what, I'll file that away as a, hey, if I have some spare time, maybe give it a try. <laughs> anyway, yes, let's go inside. Alright, so we've got, got some cool new, new stuff to, has been colonized. to explore. Mm -hmm. We've also got that. We also, what is our uh, situation log for... Oh, I didn't realize I'd actually started that. A badly damaged military vessel being el or bearing elaborate alien insignia circles Karasta B. Ship has suffered a heavy incendiary attack which has melted its hull, leaving no survivors aboard. No weapons known to us today can produce temperatures high enough to cause such an effect. Perhaps the ship's logs may shed some light on its violent end. Situation log has been updated. Well, I will. Let's go to where you are. Alright, research project and then finish surveying the system and then proceed in this general direction. 
And you're still doing stuff, that's good. And we are starting to run out of consumer goods, so eventually I'm going to want to do something about that. Wait. This whole time I haven't had a governor in my core sectors? Well... Let's see. Building cost, district cost, build speed. Or bureaucrats. Let's go with the young guy. Berg Pork, or Pock. Pretty sure it was Pock, not Pork. Not mock our governor. That's just, uh, you know, thoroughly inappropriate. And we're totally colonizing this planet. Are we still in the Kofifi system? The answer is yes, apparently. The special project has concluded. Oh boy, we really get stuck there, don't we? An analysis of the ship's logs reveals that the crew met its demise when trying to retrieve an ir ir irreplicable alien artifact called the Rubricator. It was stolen from their society by a pack of thieving rats, a curious choice of words as they themselves are most rat-like in appearance. The logs are mainly comprised of curses willing the rat robbers to the end of the universe and beyond. The crew has counted upwards of 50 individual words for defecation, as well as a wide selection of places from which a star's light cannot escape. But their arduous work has paid off. We have uncovered the last known location of the Rubricator in a previously uncharted system, and if we are to believe its former owners, its powers are worth pursuing. Resting. I suspect I do not have what it takes to actually pursue this long term, but I mean, we're not going to turn back, uh, so to speak. We obviously have to go forward. But anyway, also from earlier, it's interesting. You know, it's beautiful in a way. A civilization that has 50 different words for having a bowel movement. You know, it's like, uh, what is it? The Inuit people who have... I want to say it's like upwards of a hundred different words for snow. Maybe more, maybe less. You know, but it's interesting language, isn't it? The beautiful thing, you know? You can tell a lot about a culture by its language. And I'm not a linguist, so Situation I'm not gonna log has been try updated. to offer any examples of what I mean by that. Ooh. Wait. How the heck do I even get there? Somewhere in the fog of war, I'm sure we'll find it eventually. Maybe I actually want to go this way. Well, once we're done with all the archaeological stuff over here. System survey concluded. Oh, finally. Oh, and what do you know, just in time. The dark corridor led to an empty round chamber. Oop, one second. Oh no, we were scrolled up as high as we needed to anyway. Guess this scroll bar seems slightly down. Stepping inside, the disembodied voice spoke yet again, saying that only the deserving may continue. Short corridors connected ra or connected the round chamber to three other smaller rooms, each containing some kind of physics-oriented problem. Bon Taras believes that these are scientific riddles that, once solved, may provoke some reaction in the structure. But it's all speculation. Well, let's move forward. Construction completed. All right, and you are done there, so let's build this research station. And you know what? I am going to take a, a moment to retreat back here before we press forward. And then, you know, we'll head on over here and continue trying to capture checkpoints. Or choke points, forever. Is what I meant to say. All right, we've leveled up. An eye for talent. What does this mean? Okay, faster experience, higher level. Ooh, we actually get monthly unity with you as our chancellor. You know what, while we're here, let's have a peek at the various edicts. I mean, I can actually afford both of these, so I'll do it. Whether that turns out to be a mistake, I'm sure we'll find out by System and by. System survey concluded. Planet has an anomaly. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I better send someone to go deal with that so we can colonize it. It's a 21 size world. We How have big detected was this world? an anomaly. Oh, this is only 12. I'll turn this into a bureaucratic center or something, probably. We 
we briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. Might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Well, you know me, I always hope it's something more. And meanwhile, we continue to venture farther than anyone has gone before. And once we're done here, we better claim this system so that we can do some archaeology stuff. Always good. And people leveling up faster is always good, of course, especially because we live less long than other people. Ah, a glancing hit. While approaching Detinol 3, the ISS Jal Olesk suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. Projectiles were billions of years old, and based on their trajectory, they appear to be the stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia, until today. The rounds we have recovered are of an advanced design, despite their incredible age. And that, my friends, is why Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Yeah, Mass Effect references. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Oh my, a whole bunch of stuff just happened all at once. Isn't that exciting? Ah, there's just so much exciting stuff. Oh my goodness, automatic exploration and also faster survey speed. All good things. Hmm. Let, let's go with better armor, I reckon. All right, what's the story, my friends? All three science puzzles have been completed in the mysterious chambers deep underground the surface of Coleman Mog. Just as Fawn Taraz suspected, the structures responded to the correct solutions for the alien trials. As the last riddle was solved, a cloudy holographic projection exploded to life in the main chamber. It was a fine resolution depiction of our solar system, along with scrolling instructions for various alien technologies. Booyah! Never a galactic position was indicated by a bright point of light. The search continues. Ooh yeah, baby. Alright. Full of wonders. Indeed it is. The galaxy is surely... Surely something. Alright, so what is this other system that we've been pointed to? Oh. Scans of Crossed Free uncovered artificial chamber. Wait. Wait, was it really this one? But we... We actually stumbled across that even... Ah, that's disappointing. I was hoping it, like, added something to a system that maybe we've... We've already explored. Well, you know what? It's... It's still pretty cool. Alright, let's, uh, survey you. Then we'll go ahead and... Oh, it's not in our empire, so after the... Okay, we'll do this anomaly. Then... I am going to... Excellent, so then we can move on with that. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh! Oh, we're still exploring... Uh, you know what? Ah, you know what, that... I mean, it's not going anywhere. But I actually... Just recruit another scientist and not have to... Eh, I'm not gonna worry about that. We'll, we'll come back. Alright, more administrative capacity, which... Don't really need to worry about that just yet. Let's get more... more science farming. Though, the hydroponic farms wouldn't be terrible either. I mean, maybe I can turn this into a bureaucratic and farming world. I haven't really decided. Also, what was my uh, mandate for this? Uh... Oh, we just got to build more mining stations. And what do you know? We're kind of working on that anyway. I think to be safe, I'm going to build one mine or farming district here for now. And we still need to do something about this, but really not that... Uh... Not that System big a deal. Survey concluded. At least not just yet, anyway. Oh boy. This this is the 
it really is the part of Stellaris I love the most, that early exploration, the sense of everything is new and undiscovered. Man. You know, I hope I live long enough to see, like, some big leap. We have leap, detected an anomaly. Some big leap in uh, technology that lets us have interstellar travel. You know, I mean, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't think we're necessarily going to be living in, like, Star Trek times. Though that would be pretty damn cool, quite frankly. But, uh... Anomalous readings you know, registered. I believe that, you know... Assuming we don't screw it all up and die before we even get off-world, which, unfortunately, given uh, some of the, uh, you know, political, ecological, economic, uh, etc. issues going on uh, in our world at this very moment, it does sometimes seem less good, you know, for our, <laughs> our species' long-term survival. Also, the way this is curving, you don't think there's, like, another species over here, do you? It kind of feels like there could be something over there. And if so, I really better get this choke point as quickly as possible. But, you know, I guess we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. Anyway. That uh, little side tangent out of the way, let's have a read. A closer scanner than a brief field around Roshan Sea has led to the discovery of an airtight capsule containing an atomic clock that measures time with unparalleled precision. It has a frequency uncertainty so low that it'll be another 879 million years before it gains a, sick, uh, a single second, and it is counting down to a date 42 years and three days away. The capsule holds no clues as to what this date signifies or who the owners are, but it seems as though someone out there has lost track of the time. Okay. Um. Interesting. Innocent looking wires, any one of which could be rigged to set off a weapon of mass destruction that would wipe out the entire galaxy. Bru will snip them all! No, no, we're, we're, we're scientists. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm pretty sure of a lot of these events that there's like possibilities for good or bad outcomes and it's like semi-randomized. So you know what, we'll keep an eye on it and we'll kind of, we'll see what happens. Sonified Science. The ISS JAL Urkin crew has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within the unusual pattern of interference in the Runa system. The signal is a song complex sonification of an advanced mathematical equation, to be precise, and one that science officer Fon Taras cannot seem to get out of their head. Or what may have composed this song remains unknown, though its complexity infers an incredible level of technological sophistication regarding uh, subspace harmonics. Signal's geodesics suggest a point of origin from outside of our galaxy. Ooh. I can't help but wonder if that's a reference to something that I'm just not getting. Totally possible. I'll come back to this later, but uh, again, uh, this system stage survey of, concluded. The stage of the game, I feel it's kind of important that I, you know, I do what I can to grab choke points. And also, it occurs to me. Registered. It seems like there's a lot of. I don't know how common binary and trinary star clusters are in real life, but they seem kind of, uh, kind of frequent here. Hmm. I would love map the stars, because it increases the number of anomalies we get. But, at the same time, I am still very much in the expansion phase. Ah, what the heck, I'm gonna go for a discovery. I know, I know, I was talking about diplomacy. But, uh... I think that's it. There used to be something where maybe... I think it might have been in here, where you'd get more anomalies. You know, I'm gonna have to go back and look. Because there was something about Discovery that made it, like, super powerful. Maybe it even just increased research speed for having it. I forget. It did something. That's all I remember for sure that made it really, really valuable. Oh yeah, Edix. That's what we want to look at. Map this... A hundred... You know what? I can't afford it. Though if I recall, I think they changed these so that these things are now, like, forever. 
I think. They stay on... Is that true? Or am I thinking... I think it's edicts. Like, these things are now on forever. Until you turn them off. I think. That may have been a mistake. Especially because I was just talking about, hey, you know, I probably need to, like, hurry this way if this, like, curve... It, it could be nothing, but it, it's just, like, such a weird shape that it makes me think there is some other empire right here. Construction completed. System survey concluded. You know what? While I'm sitting here... Actually, no. If I'm going to colonize this planet eventually, then I'll probably upgrade it to have a... You know, its own station and everything, so we can get all this trade. Because trade is another thing that I have come to appreciate is actually pretty important. Mostly because it produces a whole bunch Anomalous of energy credits readings and things. Registered. Am I researching this? I was not, but I am now. Wait, are these, are these both in the same system? They are. <laughs> okay. All right, we've built our stuff. We got our extra unity. Can I shift click this? Nope. All right, you know, let's just do one then the other. We'll we'll get around all this at some point. We're not in any rush after all. All right, the toad asteroid. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a staple orbit around Roshan 1A. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals. These operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. And then... Oh, oh good, I was able to shift-click that or something. The important thing is work is getting done. The yet listening post. We have discovered several massive listening arrays on Mizar 4. These arrays are millions of years old, and we believe they were originally built by the Yut, though it appears at least one other alien civilization repurposed them at some point in the last 500,000 years for their own needs. Colossal receiving dishes are beyond repair, but some terminals are still Situation in Situation log has been updated. All right. I can in the meantime, though. I can still not colonize it. I have to... Oh no, we're... Do it. Yeah, we're, we're doing stuff. Okay. It's okay. We'll get that. We will get everything in due... Holy crap! A, a 21 size Gaia world just sitting right here. Noise. Oh, also, you know what? These episodes, like, are all close to half hour long. I keep getting carried away. I mean to make them, like, only 24 minutes, but... Forgive me. A small short-range transmitter has been located on the surface of Roshan C2. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The miners it was meant for evidently never arrived, as the deposit is still here. And with that, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I'll see all you in the next video.